Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome to the weekly review special for week 35 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. This week I brought in 3,079 points, which is colossal, considering there was a new game, PGA Tour 2K21, with just 8 points scored this week, and yet we still rose above 3,000. Current virtual best also rising above 3,000 to 3,201. All-time virtual best also seeing a massive jump of about 250 points to 82.83 now. That also brings it into the top 40 on that all-time virtual best comparison to the decathlon as it's been competed around the world. Breaking down the games individually, PCM20, career mode, big jump this week, and yet two points higher. Not two points higher from where we were a week ago, but two points higher from our score last season. So the World Tour is paying dividends. It's gone well. We are in the middle of the Tour de France right now, so there's still plenty of season to go, and we sit on 309 points. I'm accumulating points regularly right now by wearing the KOM jersey, even though we're not actually winning anything in the Tour. If we can claim that jersey at the end and possibly the points jersey. We're going after both of them. If we can claim those, it's going to be worth a ton of points. So things going well. In the all-rounder, shattered our record that we had last week, now 213. And surprisingly, I managed to retain my national championship jersey a season ago. We took it from the breakaway, just had to beat the breakaway riders. This year, we were amongst the favorites. It was slightly punchy, but it was more of a sprint finish. And we outlasted. And from the field, we won. We won the head-to-head. -head. Uh, it was so surprising that we were able to win that yet again. Valley Old Farm for Farm Sim 19, up to 200 points from 160 a week ago. And that is because we sold $200,000 worth of soybeans straight to the market as that price has slowly been dropping from its high point it would have been nearly a year to have to try to turn around and sell that at its peak we're in the final stretch so end game coming points are going to jump by a wide wide margin but i i don't know how far we're going to get uh score wise uh, it's going to be a high score but i don't know exactly i'm still not sure if we're going to hit that three million marker or not and how long it's going to take us to get there. Our bonuses for, for finishing early. Uh, it looks like we're going to get some bonus if we do hit that 3 million. But I don't think it's going to be max bonus. So I think we are not going to reach 1,000. But we could be looking at a pretty good score. Grand Tactician Civil War uh, was supposed to have another episode today. But the game has had two updates this week. And both of which are not supposed to be game-breaking, but are currently game-broken. If you understand what I'm saying with that. My game won't load. I'm still giving it a shot. I'm giving it a little time. I'm hoping a third successive upgrade uh, update will unlock it, make it playable again, so we can continue on with that campaign. Because I was steamrolling the Confederates, even with their difficulty turned up quite a bit, and we were on the verge of winning the war in a matter of months. If I can't get it going again, based on the progress I made, even though we were only a couple months into 42, about start of May, just about, I'd push forward into the 43 campaign uh, just to add to that challenge and see how things evolve by that point. Uh, the eight points in PGA Tour is entirely 100% because of my level. I still haven't got out, gotten out of the first tournament. Now, I am making progress on that one now. Uh, today's episode on that, if you haven't seen it, skip forward a little bit. But if you have seen that one already, I turned down a single element of the difficulty. I have it turned up, not to max, but I have it turned up very, very high. And I haven't done a golf game in years. My hand-eye coordination is not as good as it once was. Uh, the gamepad I'm playing on is a little 
wonky. It's it's an old uh, Xbox 360 one, so it's it's pretty dated at this point. I think I need to get a, a new remote control, a new gamepad, uh, because it could be affecting me a little bit. But either way, I think it's more on me anyway. But the difficulty, I turned it down by a single notch just on stick control and immediately improved by about nine strokes from where I had been in the previous four attempts. And more importantly than that, I blew it on two holes. I played plus one through 16 holes, completely blew it on the other two holes to finish at plus seven, plus eight, whatever it was. So if I go back replay, all I have to do is not blow it on two holes and we're top 50 and through. So it's coming along. It's, it's improved. I think the difficulty is now set up in a way that it is definitely still a challenge, still hard, but now it's doable. So that one little tweak I think has us in pretty good position, an upgraded club or two, and we are getting into the corn fairy tour. F1 2020, my team principal, this is the reason for the colossal week. A week ago, we had 431 points at the end of the previous season, but that ended midweek. We started the next season. Actually, no, that was two weeks ago now. Uh, we got to the halfway point a week ago of the season. We did the second half of the season this week. It was only season three. I thought it was going to take six to eight years to get the team to the top. I thought it might take nine or ten years to get the team to the top based on how F1 2019 was. Not the case. Not the case at all. Not only did we get in position to start getting some wins this season, but we won the season opener, finished on the podium in the second and third race, and then won again in, in the fourth race, and at that point, I was like, you know what? I was saying we might win four or five this season. I think we might be looking at more like seven or eight wins. And then we just won and won and won and won. We ended up winning 18 straight races. We would have won the season finale as well. But at that point, Drivers' Championship locked up. Constructors' Championship locked up Calderon who had been on the edge of the points the first third of the season was all of a sudden scoring regular top fives the middle third of the season and then by the later third of the season the car was so dominant and we had given her a few more attribute points through development that she was regularly scoring podiums mostly second places I think her lowest was fourth the back third of the season but it was still the primary driver, the AI driver that was un supposed to be my car. Uh, that AI-wise was winning all those races. Just to wrap things up, I did do something fun. I went ahead and raced the final race. 14 laps around Abu Dhabi. And starting from last place. With... The AI set pretty high. Uh, we got all the way up to sixth. Didn't make my way all the way through the field, but I did get to sixth, so it was good. Uh, I really struggled f through early laps, five, six laps. Uh, really struggled to make a mark and make my way through the field. I, I had moved up two positions. That was it. Besides the start, uh, I gained six positions at the start, and then from that point till mid midpoint of the race i'd only gained two positions on track but then through pit stop strategy i was able to gain about three more meaning i went much longer through my stint when everybody else went pit and i pushed through those laps gained about three positions by the time it came out and then i had fresh tires so i was able to go hard all the way to the end where everybody else was making their tires last and that's where i made my way through the field gaining another five positions but through only claiming sixth place, 
it was my teammate Calderon claiming her maiden victory. So we still finish with a win anyway. That is 889 points scored. Now, the majority of those points are those Constructors Championship points. We were not perfect. We still had points on the table. But the car, almost maxed out. The HQ, mostly maxed out. And those were limited points. I was probably 30 points away from maxing that out. The remaining 100, well, 111 points, so the remaining 80 points or so, were Constructors' Championship points still on the table, still available. But that's a pretty dang good score. But because we were so dominant, I expected it to take us that 8, 9, 10 seasons. It happened in three seasons at it happened. It's done. We dominated. Uh, could I go back for one more season and claim max points and get to a thousand? Yeah, but statement was made. Job was done. Yes, you can sim your way to a championship in that game. It is possible. We did it. Fatter's fortune done. Uh, last week, Total War Troy wrapped that up this week. Uh, finished at 138 points, uh, and, and the score was hard to judge at the end. Uh, things uh, fell apart in the final episode. So the penultimate episode at the end, we were beginning an invasion of our allies' enemy. And we were on the verge of claiming it. Uh, a settlement there. As that was happening, another ally called us into another war. And then we got blindsided with three incoming armies led by the Achilles. We defeated two of those armies. But they did enough damage that nearly wiped us out so that when Achilles army came along, for one thing, he had extra support. One of the surviving, the, the survivors, the remnants of the defeated armies with a brand new leader who came out of nowhere, joined the fight. And that was what kind of turned the tables on us. We lost. And, the, and then that was, that was that. There was nothing left. We got completely wiped out in that. So we were able to beat back two of the three armies, but couldn't beat back all three of them. And that was our allies' enemy. That wasn't my enemy, but it is what it is. Uh, I discovered one thing that was very, very key, very fundamental about that. Our infantry units, it, now, under Paris, the, the nation is supposed to be good at range, good range units not good infantry. So some of this is understandable, but our infantry was so bad that they would lose a quarter of their unit and run for the hills. Our infant, our, our ranged units were so bad morale wise that they would take two losses, five losses, and they would run away from literally two soldiers left alive of another unit charging after them so they'd start with 120 men they would fight down to the last two to three men before they would break meanwhile we were breaking with 10 to 20 percent casualties that is the only reason why we weren't winning our fights it was ridiculous and really annoying really annoying that it was that they were breaking where things were going their way where they were winning the fight and then they're breaking and the enemy who's got 10 or 15 guys left while they've got 80 left are 80 run from their 10 to 15 over and over again. Anyway, uh, total score though jumps to over 3000 because of that, my team principle. And because of that, my team principle, that final score jumps it from outside. It was 20th last week jumps all the way to fourth place for its final position in the standings does not become the fourth one to join the 900 club but it does become the fifth one to join the 800 club 
which is nice to get something up there because Rebel Inc. was the only thing in that range. It also just beats out Rebel Inc. by nine points, and it was Draft Day Sports College Basketball that got bumped out of the top ten. On that outside looking in, Grand Tactician moved up a little bit to 36th. PCM20 All-Rounder moved up a little bit to 41st and appears on that outside looking in list for the first time. PCM20 Career Mode score did go up by those two points, but it didn't change position, though now that it is up there, I would think maybe not this week because Tour de France ongoing, but about by the week after when we finish the Tour de France, I could see that score taken off and move it up quite a bit. I don't think we're going to get top 10 this season, though. Uh, We've got a ways to go before that team is strong enough to be winning regularly, to be scoring the kind of points we need. But it's July. We got over 300 points with a subpar team. Out of my whole team, I literally only have three riders that are that belong in the world tour nobody else does and those three aren't exactly winners they just belong there that every once in a while grab a win kind of thing we we belong in continental pro and we're going to be back in continental pro next season but we'll continue the growth development and have increased funding so that we can actually retain good riders that does it for this review special thanks for tuning in i'm decathlon gamer Have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Be safe out there, and bye for now.